Hi guys, this is my bigger uh, underwater motor. So basically, see the motor right here? This is a you know popular motor for the e-foil. It's a uh, 65161, which means uh, it's a 65 in the diameter. 65 in the diameter and 165, 161 in the lungs. So that's a really popular motor for the for the e-foil setup. Um, a lot of e-foil probably use the same motor for this one. Uh, I, I, will, I will put on the uh, fin, then I bought a new fin, and I'll show you how, how to uh, put it on. The reason I, I bought this new new fin is uh, I found out I need to put the motor more under the water. So this is the regular, you know, fin for the inflatable uh, stand up and the board. You can see the difference. So it's a longer. So uh, what I found out is uh, with with uh, once you get the motor close to the board. And that board keeps the uh, air. The air bubble will go under your board, and then uh, in fact on um, your performance of your motor, because the motor you know catch a lot of air instead of the water to push away. So that's why I bought this uh, bigger fin. You know I'm going to put this bigger fin on. Ah, uh, what happened here? <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to install the motor, underwater motor, go through your thing. Uh, basically pretty easy to just slide in, but you know, some motor is, uh, uh, some thing is uh, wider, it probably won't, you know, fit in right away. You can see right here, a pretty good example. So that's, you know, that's no way to doing like that. So you're going to put the motor more forward and basically you need to cut, cut a piece right here or cut a piece right here to make the motor fit in, right? I just uh, cut a piece, you know, I cut a piece right here, I cut a piece right here, and then I put it in. You only, when, once you cut those pieces, you only need to draw that two hole. The hole is already here, you know, just draw back, draw the hole through your fin. And those uh, bolt and nuts is all included. So yeah, just draw two hole and then you can fix it. You can see the cutting piece right here, a little piece, little piece, and the, that's a little piece. Otherwise, cause, cause this is a pretty big, you know, thing. Uh, yeah, with a bigger thing, you gotta cut a little piece, and then uh, you know, like I said, you want this uh, the lower part. So this is the way will be cut the bottom instead of your. Uh, propeller guard to touch the bottom. And you want this uh, motor put uh, as slow as possible. Because um, as I say, as I found out, you know, um, the air bubble, you know, goes through under your board and eventually your motor will be catch a lot of air bubble instead of the water. That's why you want to put this as slow as possible. Uh, okay, that's the setup. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, if you don't want to, uh, you know, do those work, I can I can put a fin right away. Depend on your, you know, fin tap. There are so many different fin taps, but uh, I can always, you know, you know, make a package like this. So for you, I mean, make your easy to add on. <laughs> and then uh, I'll show you how those works. So this is uh, my connector. I made those connector. Uh, basically, this is a XT uh, one fifty 
which means the pink uh, current can go through uh, 150 amps. And uh, I made a battery box, you know, seal the battery box. Basically, this is a waterproof box. And I just uh, put a, a terminal go through here and seal it. And uh, so those plug in and there's an O-ring to uh, make it waterproof. And this water, what uh, this uh, battery box, you can put uh, three of this battery inside. So each battery, so this is a you know six size, six size, uh, ten amp hour battery. Uh, so if you put three of them, uh, you can get a, a thirty amp hour uh, battery. That's a pretty big battery. <laughs> Uh, 30 amp hour you can drive like uh, you know 30 or 40 minutes in the full throttle and uh, usually you don't drive in the full throttle so that's that's a lot of time to play with so I only put one battery to show you everything works uh, so I, I can plug in oh I will show you the so when you plug in, you want to make sure your uh, throttle is linked. So that's my, uh, you know, waterproof wired throttle. So basically it can work as a kill switch as well, once you fall in the water. Uh, make sure that's go to the zero, okay. And then uh, I can plug in the battery. Uh, positive, go to positive. Negative goes to the negative. So you hear the sound to confirm sound, and uh, I'm going to hold a little bit here, and you can turn on. Very simple. Uh, very simple. Like I said, if you are, let me hold this. So if you are uh, fall in the water, that'll be gone. You know. And uh, once you're back on the water, you just put the throttle back to the zero, and dump out the water, and plug in, uh, and then there'll be a. Uh, ready for your next run. Very simple. Unplug those batteries. So basically, I, uh, I already finished my uh, pretty much all the, you know, underwater motor uh, stuff. I just need to, uh, you know, uh, run more, make more video, <laughs> you know, <laughs> front of, uh, you know, tweet, tweet a little bit to get a better performance. Because um, uh, with my design, you know, the whole setup, uh, you only need a battery, of course, and then, uh, uh, so this setup actually is interchangeable with the foil board. So this is a fin. If the foil mask, you just put the foil mask there. And uh, you can still use this draw two hole, you know, mount in that way. Well, with the foil mask, you can also mount with a little clamp, you know, just clamp on the foil mask. I have a hole right inside as well. You can clamp on your foil mask in that way as well. So my design is pretty, you know, want to make it some more, you know, compatible with uh, everything. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the way how that works, right? <laughs> I'll show you a little trick when I do the 3D uh, designing products designing and products so like uh, this um, propeller guard you know this little arm so think about if you want to bend in the perfect 
size, the perfect shape. I mean, it's it's not really easy because this is a you know aluminum bar. So what I did is uh, I printed, I three D printed the plastic one. So that's the perfect size, you know, because you see in the three D module. Uh -huh. So I printed this so I can follow this to bend the aluminum bar in the same shape and to verify that I also print the you know the little uh, uh, module so basically I, I uh, bend the aluminum bar and make sure they fit perfectly I put it inside here to make sure that that's the perfect size you know <laughs> and then uh, you can just simply you know put in there that's a 3D printing to help a uh, small business. <laughs> yeah. You know, without the 3D printing, that, that'll be, you know, really tough, tough drop. Even just ban a little arm, that's a <laughs> really tough drop, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I pretty much finished, like I said, pretty much finished everything already. So this is a in-runner motor and commonly used with a foil board. Uh, the in-runner motor has a better seal because the water won't get inside. So for the salt water, you definitely need to use a in-runner motor. But uh, for the fresh water, I recommend use the all runner motor, you know, just waterproof the all runner motor. Because the all runner motor is more efficient compared to the in runner. Uh, and uh, lightweight, this is a pretty heavy actually. And uh, with my all runner motor, probably only half, uh, half weight of this in runner motor. So, so I like to use the all runner motor. Uh, but it's really depend on the situation. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much today's topic and uh, I'll keep updating more video how those runs and um, you know, playing more and twist more, <laughs> you know, make a better product. That's how I do. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.